Welcome to episode 10 of the True Gamer Podcast, the podcast hosted by two gamers for you, the True Gamers. I'm one of your hosts, Eddie, along with the inverted gamer himself, Sheps. How's it going, bro? It's going good because we finally spoke about The Last of Us. Yes, which we is did. Which is a whole other thing. We won't even touch it. Yep, we're not going to touch it here, but we've got a spoiler cast coming up for you guys. It's going to be coming up very soon. Yeah, it may and even it's... be out depending on where we are in the I think it's going to be this tomorrow. first and this tomorrow. Yeah, 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 tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, that's yes, right, that's, right, that's when it's going to yeah. be. So yeah, look forward to that, guys. But that was a really meaty so discussion. It was meaty. Into, right? I'm yeah. a bit drained, but I'm like good drained. You know, it's like, yeah. I feel like, you know when you have a really hard day's work but you feel really good you like you've got everything done you're really Jeez. fulfilled and you sit down and you're like oh that was a good day yeah i feel like that yeah, yeah. i agree with you i agree with you and we're doing video here for the first time That's as well right. hopefully everything goes well this is going to be a test it would be really funny if it's like but what are you talking about it's audio only you've just right. put the picture up like usual but yeah we're doing video for this uh, at least this time to test it all out yes. yeah that's right um before we get too far into it yeah this podcast along with all of our services our uh, services. services. Services? Are we servicing them? Video uh, brought to you by our amazing patrons over on patreon.com forward slash conversations. Who do we have to thank? We have Jeremy Renner, Chris Williams, Diogo Dildo, Dan the Man, Record Friction, Ashton, aka The Weekend Simp, and a Simp of Conversations. That is right exactly there. what it says. Catsper, uh, the friendly patron, and Jake Ryan. Thank you, bro, so much for keeping the lights, the mics on, and the gaming going here at Conversations. That's right. I love that it's Carol of Rivia. Yeah. <laughs> aka Casper. This, these freaking guys, I swear. I swear. Do you know what? I have to bring up one thing. One of our bros, one of our yeah. bros, I got yeah. in an argument okay. the other day on okay. Twitter, okay. and I need to hash it out right here, and he needs yeah. to hear this. Yeah. Nirok, you mother trucker. Okay. I got in an argument saying that, why is it that Americans call every burger... Well, oh, they, no. They call them burgers. It's not an argument. You they, educated okay. this fool. Let me say, so they call them burgers, yeah. burgers, and then they also call some of them sandwiches. Yeah. And I'm like, why are you all retarded? And then he came along and he was like, no, 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 no. If it's got like a, a chicken fillet inside it, then it's a sandwich. And technically burgers are sandwiches anyway. And no. I was like, get the fuck no. out of here. Who the hell are no. you? And I he put up a poll. He was like... Don't worry, I'll school you, Eddie. I'll make you look like an idiot. Is a sandwich a is a, is a burger a sandwich or is it not? Everybody just votes yeah, no. It's Everyone, not a sandwich. It's not a sandwich. It's a burger. And then he sits there in his dumbness and he's like, "Well, yeah, I also I went to Wikipedia, which is also modified by people. I I went to Wikipedia and it said it's a sandwich. No one cares what Wikipedia says. Get the right? hell out of here it's with stupid. that nonsense. And, like it's a burger, <laughs> and like you can have veggie burgers. <laughs> You can have chicken burgers, you know, you can have actual burgers, you can have, what other kind of burger? Fish burgers, there are fish exactly. burgers. Like, there's all sorts of burgers. They're burgers, not sandwiches, not fish sandwich. In also, mind. what is it with Americans where they're like, okay, so if you put burger, if you put a beef patty inside a burger, it's a burger. But if you replace the beef with a piece of chicken, it's a sandwich all of a yeah. sudden. No. What? no, what? And also, if you use actual bread, like I was going to say a burger is two buns, like burger buns yeah. and stuff in, right? And generally warm. If you put a beef patty yeah. in two sandwiches you have a shit subpar burger exactly. you didn't make a sandwich you, you tried to make a burger you did your mother's version you know when you go to McDonald's you're like mum can we go McDonald's we've got McDonald's at home we've got McDonald's at home she just gets two square pieces of bread right. burger in there she puts exactly. a fucking ketchup exactly. in there and it all runs into the bread and stuff like that how you just got wrong, a shit burger how wrong can you be so what are our topics for today um, well before we get into that we have to thank our true gamers well, I because to know, this I is to learn what the topics were and then we can thank do you know what that's a good point it's better your way our topics for today are the price hikes of games possibly okay. for the next generation okay. xbox apparently giving quite getting quite forceful with developers and telling them that they shouldn't charge for their Suits? next gen next Making gen up, next what? gen upgrades okay and uh some possible prices for the uh for the xbox and whatnot. Right. we'll okay. see what happens right but there. before that this podcast actually this podcast this podcast is brought to you by some of our to gamer tier yes patrons yes over on patreon.com those of you that subscribe at the five dollar tier the true gamers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and who are 
The gamers themselves. The true gamers themselves are Jeremy Horde, Chris Williams, Diogo, Dan, Record Friction, Ashton, Geralt of Rivia, Cats Bacoral, Max H, Benedict Clobbers, Isaac Manny, uh, a bitter bite, uh, a bitter bite, bitten, bit a better brother, bitten, and the bitter, better, bitten, bit the better, bitter, biter back. back. Bite her back. There we go. That's a fucking guy. Uh, Adam Sunling, Didlotic, Real Cinema. That's HBOT 12 yeah, right there. That's right. Fishy and Jake Ryan. Bros, thank you so much for your support, especially this month. Everyone's been coming out. They've been giving us great support. And uh, it's been fantastic. It's been phenomenal. I've that been totally taken back. It's starting to get really long. It does include everybody at the $5 or above. Yeah. But it's still five dollars or above. That's a serious list. I'm really. It's it's awesome. Thank it's you. So bros. cool. Thank you guys. It's so, cool. so cool. What what topic would you like to start with? I want to start with. Let's I'm do gonna... the easy one. Xbox fucking sucks. Here's my opinion. <laughs> They're made of suits. It's just suits the company. They always do everything wrong. So which topic is that? <laughs> Oh shit, that's a good point. Because <laughs> that's just in general. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to start the podcast with my opinion on Xbox, which is frick em. So the recent thing that came out with Xbox is that they're expressing, uh, they're telling reporters, reportedly this is, okay. te- telling developers. So that suits are speaking to reporters, my two favourite groups. Two of your favourite groups right there. So no, that's not actually what's happening. Xbox is reportedly talking to developers yeah. and saying that they the next generation updates for games, well, games that they make for the Xbox One going into the Xbox Series yeah. X, they should be free. That's what yeah. they're trying to tell developers to do. Now, there's a bit of a back and forth with this, and I've made my tweets on the, on Twitter and whatnot, and people yeah. have heard about that. I'm on the side that this isn't necessarily a good thing. It's great that we will be getting something for free, yeah, but... It's putting more pressure on the developers and more pressure on the publishers to yep. come up with other ways to get money. Yeah. So if you, everyone who's been putting it's out, an additional cost, right? Exactly. Yeah. They have to still do development for this, and everyone's just on the side. They're like, "Yeah, great. This is this is good because it's like pro consumer, right? It's pro consumer." No, yeah. actually, no, it's not. It, it's good I, in the in no, the short term. I don't agree. In the short term, it's good. Don't well, agree. Well, why is it not gone? I don't agree. I think it's not pro consumer. Because if you force all these companies, like the small houses and stuff, to do things, that artificially increases the lifespan of bad companies. So the companies, I think it's a good move. Companies should do it. So yeah, in the good in the, no, in the beginning, in the short term, no, it's good because it shouldn't be in four. Oh, I suppose. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you're saying. Cool, yeah, I guess. I guess. It, I was I like, how? Yeah, sorry, I didn't understand. So my opinion. The companies that weren't going to do it should have been allowed, should be allowed to not do it, and people to feel like, well, fuck, I'm underserved with this company. I will not continue to buy our products until I'm fully served, right? It, and it's all good and well. Like I, I feel like Cyberpunk saying they're going to do it is enough of pressure because they're clearly one of the world leaders, regardless of what you think about any other games. The Witcher Three is huge. Mm-hmm. Cyberpunk's going to be huge, whether it's good or not. I think it's going to be amazing. That should be enough pressure, enough mm-hmm. market pressure. And it should allow the market to say, well, wait, Cyberpunk are doing it and whatever else company is doing it. Mm. Why is Ubisoft not? I Yeah, Ubisoft. I'm looking at fucking Ubisoft. It's going to be Ubisoft, <laughs> right? Um, or EA. Like, yeah, we, they should be allowed to stumble. Yeah. Like, I think Bethesda has a limited time and Bioware have limited time on this earth, Very right? Very much, Because yeah. they keep stumbling, but that should be allowed to happen. I don't buy this too big to fail nonsense. This is the thing. So there's... <clears throat> When I put that tweet out saying that I don't think this is great, like it is pro-consumer in the very short run of it, but that's for people who aren't thinking beyond yeah. beyond this September, November when the consoles drop. It's going to, like you, just like you said, and like I said in the tweet as well, is that the developers should make their own decision. The publishers should make their own decision. And then the public should be like, okay, that company didn't, give me what I wanted and didn't do right by yeah. me, so therefore I'm not going to do right by them. Yeah. And then that should be their downfall. I agree. Microsoft coming in and essentially forcing people, guilting them into giving these free updates, it shows the short-sightedness of Microsoft mm-hmm. that in the grand scheme of things, in fact, I think it's worse than that. I'm going to explain it in a second. Short-sighted Microsoft, in the grand scheme of things, it's going to come back to hurt us. It's come back to bite us in I the agree. arse. And... What it really means is that Microsoft are willing to look good as the hero of gaming. Hero of gaming in here to give you okay. give, give you gamers what you want. Which but is then, Microsoft first party to... Oh, wait. 
How hypocritical. Exactly. How hypocritical. In the end, what yeah. it's going to cause is that th these publishers, they're not going to take it lying yeah. down. They're going to do what EA has been doing all this time. They're going to try and supplement other ways to try and get more money yeah. out of the consumer and it's going to be they're going to have to resort to scummy tactics yeah. like microtransactions and surprise mechanics exactly shit like that now again as i said i it will benefit us gamers greatly in the short term that we get free updates and i want to see free updates free updates is cool but if it means that we're going to Put the developers into more cost. Put the publishers, sorry, into more cost. Which means they're not just going to eat that cost. They're not going to do that. No. The, the businesses, they it's don't a do business. that. Yeah. Then I don't want it. Maybe. I think I think maybe a ten pound upgrade or something like that might be worth it. Yeah, and for the right game, I'm willing to do that. Yeah, I'm actually totally willing to get that full game at the full retail price of ten dollars. Absolutely, I yeah. will do that for like Cyberpunk or something. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I also worry because look, microtransactions. As long as it's implemented correctly, I don't have any problem with it. My worry is that they're going to say, well, this game that we didn't intend it for needs to have it, a la Battlefront 2. Mm -hmm. And the stuff in it is going to just feel scummy or they'll take something out that should have been in. Yeah. Or it'll be really subpar and the people that do do it are going to spend $70 for 10 fucking Fallout bucks and a door. Mm -hmm. Right? It's, gonna, it's mm -hmm. just not going to work. Whereas if you have microtransactions that are well thought out, you're like, actually, yeah, I do want that Hulk skin for... Marvel Avengers or or whatever it is in for like a cool skin on Fortnite you're like yeah frick it I don't want to have to level to level 100 I do want it it's only a dollar I bought the DeLorean skin for on, the, uh, on Rocket League Rocket I don't League. play Rocket League but it was something I wanted yeah right and it was good enough and it was cheap enough and I was like okay cool I actually don't feel bad about that at all I played with it a few times I wasn't any good but I wanted to play with that skin yeah right if I was and gonna play this them. free game yeah. As far as I was concerned, I got the game was for PS Plus, was yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. I got yeah. the game for like two dollars, and I got to, I got to play the game with a DeLorean for two dollars. I was perfectly happy with that, right? Yeah. As long as you're well served, we'll pay the we'll pay. Yeah. I, I want to give good developers money, you know, and I think that seamlessly transitioned into the rising costs. Yes. So that does uh, <clears throat> the. For those of you guys that have been following this, 2K Games have come out with yeah. NBA 2K21, which is their next installment in the NBA franchise. Reskinning these games is expensive, man. It is very that expensive. And FIFA, the two most uh, highly, uh, it just cost so much to develop these games. It's massive cost, massive Huge. cost. I mean, they have to hire all the all the players so they can come in and actually play the games. It's true. They don't even have to fucking no, do that. They don't. Um, so NBA 2K21 has come out with the base version that you can buy for your current generation system, yeah. your PlayStation 4, your Xbox One, etc. And they allow you to buy a apparently a full Mamba edition, which allows you to have the next generation version, should you choose to upgrade, in a, but for an extra cost okay. of $99.99. .99. So from $59 to $99. Mm. Or if you want to, you can just buy the game separately, but the cost of that game is is an additional $10. So that sets a precedent for the next generation games to start off at $69.99 as opposed to $59.99. So there is an interesting discussion to be had here and fuck Jason Schreier because he was saying games are too long. No, you, you just suck at gaming. Yeah. However, I do agree and I've said this before, I don't want games to go 500 hours. I'd rather a, a 30 hour game that can be played five or 10 totally different ways, yeah. right? Um, but, you know, games getting longer and staying at the same price is eventually going to be a model that doesn't pan out. I yeah. wouldn't mind a shorter game that that is that hits all its points, you know, that was shorter. So instead of it being a 50-hour game, it's 20-hour games, and it comes out cheaper at, like, $40. And there is a discussion to be had about, like, increased technology and motion cap and ray tracing and stuff. Well, how can they stay at the same price with the game staying the same length? Mm. So, you know, there is a discussion to be had here, but... Fuck Madden and 2K. Fuck FIFA. Like, that's not where this discussion goes. This is for games yeah. like, you know, The Last of Us 1 was 8 hours, The Last of Us 2 was 30 odd hours, right? Yeah. The Witcher 3 was like 50 hours, you know, and I presume Cyberpunk's actually going to be as long or longer, mm. right? It isn't sustainable to make a 100 hour game of that quality where you actually have a game with 100 hours worth of, of content for. $60 right yeah I think that it's this is going to be a controversial one this is my opinion on this uh, on this subject okay is that I think games are quite cheap for what we're getting now I actually agree yeah I okay I'm glad agree. I'm glad the guys at home may not uh, may not agree with me here if I take my girlfriend to the cinema the two of us so it's probably 
about 15 quid a ticket. Yeah. Somewhere in the 10 to 15. Yeah. Depending on when we're seeing the movie and what we're seeing. Plus food. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and I, the where I go, they have a burger joint. Yeah. You're so, easily spending like 30 pounds, 40 pounds, whatever it might be. It's a 60 pound night. Yeah. For yeah. the tickets and for the food. Because we're getting burgers and stuff. Yeah. It's a movie. And it's only like two and a half hours long max. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Whereas a game like The Witcher. Yeah. You know, hours and hours and hours and hours of, play- and I get to make the decisions. I'm not a passenger. Yeah, you're you not know? just watching. You're doing it. So I've, as I was saying, um, I think games are a bit cheap now. Um, the last time that they were, I'd up say was they're back well the- priced. I personally, well, I think at the beginning they were well priced, but now I think they've gone too too far low. So okay. let me explain this whole thing for you. Um, in the beginning, uh, was it PS3 era when last went up? Yeah. Uh, the price last went up, and it went up ten pounds. Then we got used to it, and we went we went past yeah. it. Nowadays, we have these huge name actors in our video games. Yeah. Mads Nicholson in the last game and whatnot. Um, Guillermo del Toro apparently was one of them. Uh, it, it's also in uh, Death Stranding stuff. Yeah. Like we have these huge yeah. names. The budgets of games are going up. Now, there's a different discussion to be had whether or not it should go up. Yeah. That's something on the side anyway. We won't talk about that. But we are getting these much bigger games with much bigger scopes yeah. with much better acting and actors mm-hmm. and technology that go into it, I feel like the $60 model just doesn't work for them. Yes and no. Just before you get to yeah. that, you fully get my finger. I was just re- reacting to you. I'm I not trying it. to interrupt you like I'm doing now. Why did you make me interrupt you? You <laughs> made me. Look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, what was I saying for? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think that the reason why we have such like things like microtransactions yeah. and battle passes in most yeah, yeah. games nowadays is because the fact that the price of games are too low to recoup all of the costs for games now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's leave EA and 2K fucking out on the side because they're just they're just greedy as shit. That's yeah, why they're doing guys, it. They're but... not doing it because it's too cheap. They're doing it because they're greedy. I mean... um, but that's why I think that these other games... Like, for example, I think if PlayStation... So if uh, PlayStation wasn't the one funding The Last of Us, yeah. and the reason why they gave them so much money is because they know they're going to get money off of sales off the PlayStation yeah, yeah, 4 yeah, yeah. and people in the ecosystem and stuff like that, yeah. I don't think we would have got a Last of Us from a third party. You, would they have hired Troy Baker? Would I, they have hired... Uh, what's Ellie's I, name? I can't forget. Ashley Johnson. Yeah, uh, uh, Laura Bailey. Laura Bailey and one yeah. of would they have hired Star those studded. huge names... At least for voice acting, yeah. And also, you have to think Neil Druckmann probably costs costs a lot because he's and got all a the mocap and all the mocap, all no, those designers. I, I, do, I do kind of agree with you to a point. Like, I think I think games can't get much more expensive. Mm. We already have a lot of people that are budgeting for games. Yeah. They have like one or two games max a year, right? If it goes to like seventy, eighty, a hundred dollars a game, I'm sorry, it is too much. People won't buy it, right? Yeah. Even like I agree with you. We get an incredible value deal to get something like. The Witcher or Cyberpunk mm-hmm. at what we pay for forty nine ninety nine, right? Yeah, which is a little bit more than sixty dollars. Huge value. Yeah, huge value. However, if a game seventy quid, eighty quid, I'm not buying more than one or two. I may just not keep gaming. Right? That's another point. So then the thing is, how do you make game development cheaper? So you say, okay, well, games can't go fifty hours at the level of production that we make them. So. Now they write stories at 20 hours, which is still incredible. Mm. You know, there are plenty of, of 15 to 20 hour games that are amazing. Yeah. You know, um, they just have less stuff. Like maybe if you didn't say The Last of Us, you wouldn't tack on the whole California end. Maybe. 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 Or just you like save scrap a bit all there. the thing with Abby. <laughs> maybe. Just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Fuck it. We're doing Last of Us spoiler cast again. Let's do this. <laughs> That's it. Let's get back to it. So the game opens. So I feel like. The the price point can't increase too much. Mm. So where do we where do the games go? And I I think I don't agree with Jason Trier. I don't think games are getting too long. I think games will out of necessity become shorter. Mm. But he was saying it from a position of they take too long to make as well. Mm. I don't give a fuck how long the game takes to make. As long as if Cyberpunk comes out yeah. as what I want, I don't care. That it took seven years. The Last of Us Two took seven years. And also, I don't care. It's the creator's vision. If how long yeah. it fucking takes to make them? Let I mean, make the, it. Uh, Wolf of Wall Street took twelve years to get actually made. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like, it, but it's a great movie. Yeah. And it's only two hours long, and it, that took six months to make. You know, yeah. like 
I th but I do think there's a balancing act. Games can't get much more expensive, mm. but the technology and stuff, although as technology gets better, it'll get cheaper to do this level of production. Yeah. There's all sorts of stuff going into it. How much do you think a game should be then? So Say like a... Let's say it's going to go up. Let's say it's going to go up. I reckon up. it's got $10 in it. Max. $10. $70. $69.99. $69 nice. Or uh, $59.99 for us. I'm not paying more than that. Mm. And I have a problem with digital copies for consoles being full retail price. That's yeah. fucking bullshit. The PC losers who have to wait 13 years for Halo. Dear <laughs> kids. <laughs> Right? That's coming out soon, isn't it? It's yeah. like Halo 3 coming soon. It's like Which, 13 years later. <laughs> I want to go on record in the podcast as saying once you finish AC2, I know you have you have an you have a Blu-ray player that you call on Xbox, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you should play Halo at least Master Halo Chief. 1. The Master Chief Collection cuz the gar the the graphics are garbage. It's like a 2003 game. Mm. Play the Master Chief the Uprest stuff. And just enjoy. I do it so good. You've spoken highly about it, and also everyone so on the good. internet has spoken highly about it. So I imagine it's gonna be good. And I know I actually, you've already proved that you like it. Yeah. Because you played Doom and enjoyed it. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's basic, same guy. I, basically, it's the same guy, same basic premise, except instead of demons, they're aliens. Basic mm. swap, right? So you, I know, I do not think you'll dislike it. Right? I don't I think, think I will. I think you'll really like it. I think you're really going to want the Master Chief and and be like, well, what is? Is there this relationship with Cortana? And like, I want to know more about the Spartans, but like, you get they they tickle it, but they never all you know. You never get the full lay. Like, they there's teasing in there for for like backstory and what their motivation and uh, just play the play the first three, not back to back, not all on stream. However you want to do it, but I think you should definitely play it. Yeah, for real. Fuck it, play it all on stream, but not back to back. However you want to do it, but play after AC two, play Halo. <laughs> so good. So good. You're really getting into the Master Chief collection. But I wonder, how right long now. does it take to play Halo? Go on. Let's see how long it takes. Yeah. They're probably going to give you speed run numbers, but go ahead. We'll all we'll base over that. One. We'll double it plus tax. <laughs> plus tax. Halo 1's 10 hours. Oh, it's not that bad. You know, so Halo 1, yeah. 1 Halo Combat Evolved. No, 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 that's not. That. Is that not it? I'm just going to I'm going to take the 1 out. Let's go Halo 2 runtime. Uh, come come on. Runtime, playtime. So Halo Two is twelve to fifteen hours. They say, right? That's not bad. And I think you'll play it and really enjoy it. A game like that, and it's pretty linear. There's no questing or side quests, right? It's mission, it's level grinding, same as like Doom. What's Doom? Like a twenty-hour game or something? Something like that. You know, those sorts of games. I think are gonna have to stay. I think we'll start seeing more of those linear, less side questy type games, less RPGs, because to make them at the level that people are going to come to expect is going to be so expensive until we get more towards the next gen. Mm. I reckon to get a game like Mass Effect 3 in like today's graphics and stuff or a game like Cyberpunk for next gen start you know from ground up at that price point I don't see it happening for a good five years. When, once everything's so cheap once mocap's just like everybody has a mocap studio in their house. Yeah. Like what we have here 15 years ago this is prof and I'm not even joking like yeah pro you know we're people wouldn't be able to wouldn't yeah. be able to afford anything like this yeah we've got like actual editing rigs sound stuff lighting that kind of shit like this would have been um like a cable tv network yeah. studio thing like if we go to america 15 20 years ago right so in that same period of time it'll be easier to bootleg or bootstrap a uh, a mocap studio some acting stuff like that mm. but i don't see this level of games I mean, maybe they just say, look, we can make, we want to make this game, we want it to be this length, but to do that, we can't include ray tracing. So, to be honest, I think ray tracing is great, but most TVs aren't going to be able to show you it. I don't think it's going to be as uh, simple as that. I think it's going to be, it has to be, because that's not enough of a cost cut, I don't think. Oh, yeah, exactly. I know what you mean, but, it's yeah. an example. It's going to have to be something that you will feel the difference of. Yeah. That's why Up it's going to warrant. Up and voice actors. Yeah. And, yeah. It's gonna, that's why it's going to warrant. And sometimes you won't even know because. It will be, we couldn't get this voice actor, so we settled for this person. They did an okay job. The game's good, but it's not what it could have been. You know when you play a game, you're like, man, this, why isn't this a nine? Yeah. What is it? And you can't put your finger on it. It's all the little things, like the sound design isn't where it could have been because they didn't have the right sound team or the right uh, you know, music uh, composer. Yeah. And like the direction isn't what it could have been because they couldn't afford whoever's great at directing Neil yeah. let's say Neil Druckmann because yeah. he's the only director I know off the top of my head yeah right like 
I bet it is those things. Or like certain things just don't look so good because the guys that coded it aren't the top of their game, you know? Like, do you think that maybe we would have got that ragtag game that Amy Henning was working on at EA <sighs> if EA could have been allowed to charge $10 extra per, per game? That plus microtransactions, I think they would have done it. Yeah. And I think I would have paid for the microtransactions. That, the Star Wars one. Yeah. I don't know how anyone cancelled that. That that blows my mind, even with the potential of how much it costs to make. Like, it, also we've proved we've proved the gaming industry has proved that p if you make the right game, mm. it is timeless. How fucking old is GTA Five now? Oh. <laughs> Three consoles. Are, it's like fifteen years old. I think or it came out early two thousand thirteen, and it's gone over three console generations now. I made it. Still, it does. How much is it made? It's got to be in the billions, right? It's ridiculous. It's got to be in the billions because they've sold, I think, something like 125 million copies. I think I read somewhere. Jesus. And I was like, that's ridiculous. That's More than there are fucking PlayStation 4s out there. That's nuts. That's nuts. <laughs> but so one thing you did say, which uh, I wanted to discuss a bit, was you said about like battle pa selling battle passes and mm. stuff like that, and microtransactions. At least to my mind, battle passes is for something like Fortnite, Apex, mm -hmm. um, Warzone, which are free to play. Except they've leaked into things like other single-player games they? and whatnot. That's the thing. They've leaked into single-player games so you can then get stuff when you're, you know, when you're leveling up. So Yeah. I, 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 for some reason, I'm thinking Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I might be mistaken on Does this. It sound like Destiny. I could see Destiny doing Destiny, something. Destiny, I think, do have something like that. But at least that's online multiplayer. Yeah, okay. At least. I think I remember something like Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I may be wrong on this, guys. Let me know in the live chat. We'll just throw shade that way. Fuck anyway. it. Assassin's Creed Odyssey yeah. sucks. Yeah. Everything about them is shit. Yeah. And so is Valhalla. Throw yeah. that in the boss as well. Um, one thing I do want to mention about 2K Games. Yes. You may have forgotten about this, and I forgot about this until I did the research. Okay. 2K Games, NBA 2K specifically, those guys have gambling mechanics in their games yeah. as in they have like roulette wheels yeah. pachinko machines and stuff like that yeah. so they're already trying to take as much money from a person yes. as possible and I don't know how it fucking stands because I guess it's because NBA players like gamers aren't in the gaming arena they're just off on the side playing NBA whenever they feel yeah, like they, it yeah they tend to be more sport only. And yeah, sport only, and also like those types of people also tend to be there's the overlap of sports betting, yeah, so that they kind of go hand in hand, so, exactly. oh, yeah, okay. But for some reason, it's like it doesn't matter, you can sell that to a child, and it doesn't matter, even though it's got gambling mechanics and stuff inside, yeah. On top of that, yeah. I don't know if you remember this, but they motherfucking had TV adverts inside the games during <gasps> loading screens, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So on I knew top this was of ringing a bell. getting stupid, a game that's just reskinned the game, in our opinion. Yeah. On top of it having gambling mechanics and having people pay yes. money for that. On top of them getting money for adverts during loading screens and won't let the loading screen end until the advert is done. Yeah. They're also now being the first people to charge more on next gen for their next games. Think about it, though. How's that going to work? Let's say you play... I mean, they won't support old NBA 2K, uh, whatever it's called, games. But let's say you load up the most recent one yeah. from like this year onto next gen where loading times are going to be mm -hmm. way shorter. Mm -hmm. Are you going to sit to a three minute That's a fun screen? That's a funny one. It's like, okay, so next gen games, guys, loading is basically eliminated. Like NBA 2K still got loading like, screens in three minutes. GTA 5 <laughs> load screen go from like the three minute load screen, because it is very long, down very to like long. five or ten seconds. And yeah. then you're sat there for still two minutes. <laughs> Watching ads like unskippable YouTube ads. And, and those people are probably not in the gaming sphere like we are, where they're like, God, I swear these guys said that loading screens were supposed to be really Mate. bad. I played NBA all day today and I keep getting loading screens. These adverts coming up all the I time. I will say, so to, to do the devil's advocate thing, reskin the game isn't as simple as just reskinning. They yeah. do have to do mocap and they do have to get new people in because because computers still can't do stuff. They actually do have to mocap a new... Like if a new guy comes in and they're hot that year, yeah. they do actually have to get that guy in for Scan it. Scan their faces improperly with high right. detail and stuff and like that. And get them to do certain things and stuff. It's still insanely cheap. Yeah. In comparison to what, what needs to be done, right? There isn't... There aren't whole new sets. Yeah, you know, it just it just isn't that big of an expense, and it's annualized, so you're guaranteed to get another wave when it comes to what is it September they come out, and like somehow that. people still freaking buy it, and somehow people still buy it. So it's like, and these enthusiasts, they really don't care about any other game; they just care about your game the at the hearts. end of the year. Yeah. So you're going to get another wave of people. You don't need to do this 
It's easy to develop. Uh, easier in comparison to big games like, say, Last of Us, God of yeah, War, stuff like to build that. Up so, for example, The Last of Us. Yeah. Or Cyberpunk. Mm-hmm. Right? No actual environment exists yeah. for the majority of the game. Now, you can take scans of certain cities and stuff, but then you have to li- go in and physically adjust. A guy has set. to go in with a pen and be like, right, we're doing that, we're doing that, we're same, doing that. Same for The Last of Us, same for uh, Cyberpunk and all that stuff. Yeah. The, plus, most of the, thi- like, the things in it don't exist. Clickers and, and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. This is real stadiums where you can take stuff and they only have to look right and you just do the background the put an audience in. You can go to a stadium, get a high-res camera and take pictures all around or do a scan of the room. You've yeah. got the fucking level right there. And then you, you capture your people and the thing doesn't change. The court's always the same. It's the same size. There's two well, fucking nets. Hoops. Goals. Whatever. <laughs> goals, you know, with the goalies as well. <laughs> yeah, there's baskets at the end. The ball's the same. The only thing that changes is, is the players and what they're wearing. Yeah. It As it goes, that is a very simple task to achieve, right? That's why they can do it every year. That's why they can do it every year. That's why they can do it every year. And the fact that you have that constant income that's coming every single year, year on year in the same yeah. spot, I don't understand how... You, how is it that they were the first people to ask for that? So scummy. It's so bad. It's really so bad. I um, I'm interested to see where it goes in the future. How many people will go? Yeah. Okay, you know what? I think it is time, and it's not been so bad for Two K, even though it has been really bad for them coming out saying yeah. that it, they want ten dollars more. But personally, I'm okay with ten dollars more. Any more than that is ridiculous. I Any think more it depends. I actually think it depends. I I think I could justify that for something like Cyberpunk. Yeah. I think I could. Yeah. Because I know what goes into it. But like you say, I do not think the value add is there for for NBA 2K or FIFA. That is not to say that those games aren't good and of course you are a fake gamer if you play them. The exactly. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. the difference from, let's say we're saying staying in the same gen, there may be a relatively big leap from the last PS4 game to the first PS5 game. But within generationally, the difference isn't enough to warrant the additional expense when all you're getting is maybe a new player that joined, changes to those quadrilateral things where they call the pentagrams uh, and the different polygons u- right and different uniforms mm. the value add is not there mm. right yeah it's more up to date and I get that these people are passionate about their food but to me the additional game you get yeah it's more accurate but I want to play the even if I'm a sports player I want the point is beating the other player at the game not what they're where you know like I, I don't mm. see the value add being there I could see it for, for next gen for like Cyberpunk 2 right or God of War 4 Four. That's the thing. I was uh, I was saying for some games it God is War five. So, God for War some five. games God of War two actually. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's five, but it's two. The I fifth God of War, which is actually God of War two. <laughs> I could see that the additional ten dollars being worth the price. I feel like I'm getting the value at the next Mass Effect game, which is maybe coming. I could see that. Not NBA, not two K, not FIFA. No, the value, the additional value, the additional work is not being put in. That's why, like you said, that's why it's annualized yeah. because it's ninety percent reused assets. Yeah, I'm sure there's bugs and stuff. I'm sure it's challenging, but not like not it, it's not, not that much. Extra. Yeah. So I think if those stay at the same price, I actually think that would be a good business model for them to say, look, hey, we can get this game. It's still the same price. Yeah, they would be the ones. If, if everyone Everything, else was the game, you're getting sixty dollars. We're fifty. So guys, we're going over here, and then that'll be something that they hold over your heads. Like you guys over there playing Cyberpunk, playing God of War Five slash mm. Two. You guys playing playing this new game over there. I'm getting my games over here for ten dollars cheaper. <laughs> in fairness, we're giving them shit, but we used to jam only COD for like ten years so Ooh. we shouldn't bring that up <laughs> that one burns oh it burns someone get me some aloe vera right Sarah <laughs> um, I, I'm interested to see where it yeah. goes I do as I said think that game's just a bit cheap now and I think in the if we give them another a, a ten dollars more or ten pounds more it will enable more development, give them more freedom. Because yeah. there's so many times where you hear, oh, we had to cut, even for Cyberpunk, yeah. they cut wall running out. Yeah. They cut car I, customization out. I and don't stuff know like how that. much I care. You don't know or until ha- you had it. Yes. You don't yeah. know until you had it. Was, it. If, if, it, if I had it and it got taken out, that would be different. I agree. Although I do think Cyberpunk cut it because they said it was because of design issues. I believe them because it's Cyberpunk. I think they have had a really hard time with previous generation and there's yeah. just too much and it was getting too big yeah. and they they it, 
I really genuinely believe there was too much and it would not have run because it has to come out this generation. Yeah. I don't think it would have run. I think so I too. think it's really that. And I, I think... and I, This and generation console is just ruined. We said it, it about a year ago. The fact that the current gen, the last gener- the last group of current gen games will be playable and the first generation PS5 games will be playable on current gen is actually damaging, in my opinion. I think if Cyberpunk had said we're PS5 and, and Xbox, who gives a fuck only, mm. that would have been better for the game. It would come out better and more polished. We'd have the third party, third person mode. We may still have had... And maybe it was a good directive call, mm. but maybe they could have kept it. They could have kept the vehicle customization and all that shit. Yeah. One thing I will say about this uh, about this is that with the with Microsoft doing their thing where they're saying you can't charge yeah. for next gen updates, this would have stopped something like that, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it would it don't get me wrong, the Microsoft thing only works when there's big companies that wanna go actually really scummy yeah. like two K is going. Yeah. Other than that though, there is no other reason why it benefits you. It benefits you in the short term. But yeah. if you're that short sighted, you are gonna what the world's gonna eat you up yeah. if you're that short sighted. And it damages the the industry, the entertainment industry that you like, yeah. right? Um, which is again, I'm worried that cinemas are going to up prices when they come back to China. Like that's going to damage cinema. I'm mm-hmm. not going to go. Out. Like I'm already spending sixty dollars, sixty quid to yeah. take my girlfriend out. Yeah. I'm not spending seventy, eighty every time. Mm-hmm. And there will be a few movies that I want to see. But I'm not doing it. The other thing is, I actually just realised how FIFA and, and NBA 2K can get their uh, their extra ten dollars. Go on. Give the gamers what they want. Give them the 150 man free for all. Exactly. The battle royale. And the tackles need to be proper slide tackles where you take out someone's leg and it falls off. I want, yeah, the, Come the on. tick for gore, <laughs> snapping shin bones, <laughs> right, rupturing testicles. You know that sniper elite? Oh, thing? Yes. We can slide in and just crush someone's balls. You get and... a slow motion x ray shot and it's yeah. just like. If you don't time your shot correctly, you break your ankle and fall and like, oh. and shatter an elbow. Proper roll your ankle right. and you just see a ligament snap. <laughs> yeah, then you then you have to run through three hours of your character going over the course of three months of rehabilitation or yeah. oxygen tents and yeah, yeah. <laughs> learning to walk again, doing keepy uppies. You know, <laughs> that's the, what the gamers want. Give the gamers what they want. God, give the gamers what they right. want. <laughs> Our next topic. Do you mind if I move on to Let's do it. Um, so Microsoft. They yep. are coming out with their Xbox Games show on the 23rd of July. Yay! Uh, I actually don't care. This is the thing. I'm, what is there to see? I, there's, two, there's a couple of things that may be possible. Okay. One thing, we are going to see Halo there. Halo have come out and they've shown that they are going to be showing something at the t- 23rd. Okay. And really, it can't go any later than this because we're getting so close to the release of it. We've barely seen anything. We need to see gameplay of this game now. And there's something really troubling for halo everything the entire xbox series x and xbox fans out there you if you don't think i'm right on this you're really you're delusional on this point everything is resting on halo not even i i 100 percent agree they they have no other lifeline. I don't care about Cyberpunk. Isn't going to be it for Xbox. Cyberpunk isn't even associated. They're associated with Xbox marketing, but no one says, oh, "I'm going to play that Cyberpunk game." Yeah, that Xbox game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or anything Xbox related. They, they have, yeah. I, com- I completely agree. As that great as they not even Gears. Gears is tiny. It's so niche. Even at its height, it was niche. The next one is not going to be for ages. So yeah. we're going to see that. Yeah. The smart delivery program is great. It's, cool. it's still up for developers to opt in whether or they choose or not. So. Um, I was expect we were both expecting that anyway, and from Sony as well. It's and PlayStation, unique. they didn't say anything, but they're doing it anyway. But every game's coming out that way. Yeah. Uh, game Pass is truly fantastic, but if people aren't on your ecosystem, on your platform, your ecosystem, why buy an Xbox when you can play it on PC? That's another thing as well, right there. As great as these uh, pro consumer moves are, if people aren't drawn in by a game. Which has to be Halo because it's going to be launched. There is no other game. There is no other yeah. game. And the weight of that is immense on 343. It's 343 that's doing it, yeah. right? Yeah. I can't... I can't... I wouldn't even want to be related to a person who's at 343 right yeah. now because that is an immense pressure. I'll tell you one other thing. I think Halo was ready to be showcased. It's already ready. It's been oh, ready yeah? for a while. Good stuff. The reason I think it's coming here is because Microsoft have realised how far behind they are on the attention war and the fact that their their E three E three thing, the Microsoft event and stuff, how every time they think they do a good job they get blasted out of the water and mm. it's not even close. Bearing in mind I'm saying this not as a Sony pony, but out of 
um, despair because I think we need, and I'm not joking, a strong Xbox to maintain the strong Sony because I am a Sony pony, but mm -hmm. that only works with the competition. No one wants to see a one horse race. We yeah. need the other horse behind Sony to push them forward, right? Yeah. And I really worry. And I think they have taken this time to try and make this good because they realized that showing third party only stuff when Sony's going to come out with stuff that they've come out with just is not acceptable. I think they're really struggling to figure out what to go in here and they've had to wait. I think Halo was ready. Yeah. I think whatever, whatever promo material they had has been ready for a while. And it was just, where does it go, right? And they decided to pace it closer to try and scoop more people for the console release. At least that instills a bit of confidence that at least they're prepared for it and that it's not actually going to fail when it comes out of the... Well, it might fail still from story perspective, yeah. but at least they're ready. Yeah. They're, and that instills a bit of confidence yeah. in me. And maybe they don't, they don't feel the pressure as much because at least they have a ready product that they mm -hmm, can show mm -hmm. off. But still, there's a lot of pressure because it all rests and, on them, right? And I'm worried, I'm really worried that the Xbox... Act this isn't to say that I think the PS5 is going to be a beast, which I do. Mm. I think the Xbox can't compete. I think it's assuming, and my only concern, and it is a concern, is that the, the, the PlayStation is not reliable because it's a brand new architecture. We, the, the hardware and the way everything runs on the Xbox has been tested for 30 years. Mm. It's the way things work. It's just Windows. It's just right. like running on a PC. It's running on bloatware. But yeah. other than that, like the hardware stuff all works. The way the Sony uh, direction is going, it's kind of brand new territory. Oh. And it could be unreliable. Could be. I doubt it, but it could be. Yeah. I'm really genuinely worried that the Xbox, the Series X, cannot keep up. And I just, I, it's, it's a genuine concern. I'm worried too. Man. Because, worried because look, too. day one, Someone's buying two. Digital Foundry are buying two. Definitely. They're buying whatever game comes out, whatever is biggest. They're going to load them both up side by side. And my real, and I'm not joking, my worry is that Cyberpunk, say, loads up in 10 seconds on the PS5 and loads up in a minute on the Xbox Series X. And the guys that waited for the January sales all see it and get the PlayStation. And I don't want that. Mm. I want, that at least early, to be mm. neck and neck because otherwise it. Because without that pressure, without Sony going, guys, you need to make God of War 2, 5, whatever we're calling it, something special. This needs to be a banger. Yeah. Without that pressure, I worry that it isn't. And I don't want that story being underserved. And I don't want that game being underserved. I don't want us being underserved. And the reason we weren't is because Xbox was still competition. Mm. You know, at least when it started. Do you know what's really fortunate, at least for Xbox at this point, is that it's lucky that there's not a next gen actually there is actually spider-man might be enough i was gonna say that there isn't a Shit, i didn't even think about that that's, just, that's actually a good point there you go playstation a, fuck a playstation 5 title coming out taking full advantage of the playstation 5 and only the playstation 5 to go up against like halo for and example when it comes out. who just came off the back of spider-verse which was Spider incredible and that was marketed so well like yeah. every gaming personality you can think of mm -hmm. every, especially at least the streamers they all pushed that movie because because yeah. they knew who the Sony knew who the audience was, yeah. and also the uh, the, the Spider Man PS4 was such a great hit, so, so gamers remember that yeah. vividly. Yeah, and this is just that, and it's going to be taking full advantage when they put them side by side. It might be, it might be a kill. It might be a fucking I love, blow. I love Halo. If I was if someone said, "Here's your two consoles," yeah. right? You can ha here you go, Halo Spider Man. I'm gonna play Miles Morales. Yeah. Damn, I didn't. I thought I, you might say I might actually go Halo. For the Halo that. game that I love is Halo's one to three. Ah, uh, yeah, and, and they've I, kind of screwed the last couple. And look, right? I I hope three four three can do really well with it. I felt four was very poor, mm. and it, I didn't even finish it because of that. It's not my Halo, at least at the minute, and I want it to get back to it, and I believe it can be done. Yeah. I believe it can be done, but I think. Of those two, I think the biggest draw is Miles Morales. I think it's the Spider-Man game. Yeah. I just... And it's a concern. I, it, this isn't about being on the winning side, or getting it right, buying the right console. I really, I really want Xbox to do well. And I was hoping Halo would be enough to, get, to keep Xbox people on Xbox. And I want that in the sense... As long as they're served well... Because I do, and I do genuinely, I wouldn't recommend anyone stay on Xbox at the minute. And the, like, if someone's like, oh, like, I don't play with any friends. Wait, what should I get? 
I'm not telling you to get the Xbox. I'm telling you to get the PlayStation. There's just too many good games on the PlayStation mm. plus all the third party shit. But I'm hoping enough of the Xbox only crew and all their friends stay on Xbox to give them enough life that the games that I need from Sony get the attention, get the funding. Yeah. And I know, I've said it like 15 times. It's a real... I really, really worry that God they will let God of War suffer if they're not worried. And I think they would. Because look, Sony is run by suits as well. Yep. They happen to have whether accidentally or hired someone in particular, they've got this current marketing stuff all on, on point. Yeah. But man, they are run by suits. They will do suit shit. Yeah. The uh, the pressure that I was mentioning before about the uh, being all on Halo and whatnot was yeah. amplified recently. There was a, uh, a poll. Now, this is IGN. Super trustworthy. <sighs> Super trustworthy, but the people voting were at least gamers. Okay. And it is the biggest gaming website out there because yeah. it's established itself yeah. and whatnot. People just go there really to like mock them basically now, but this is uh, this is still the, yeah. the place where people go. Yeah. And there was a poll put up and people were saying, um, ahead of like the Xbox Series X pr um, and the PS5 coming out, what are your feelings? How do you feel about it? Okay. And which one will you be going for? At 43.3%, okay. it was the PS5 will be miners and they will choose the PS5. Okay. And then next at 25%, Damn it. it was the Xbox Series X. And then there's a couple okay. that are saying that I'm going to buy all of them. I'm, I'm undecided as well. Uh, sticking with the Switch for now or whatever's cheapest and stuff like that. Do you know what I would have preferred to see? Buying them both, getting the PS5 first. Buying them both, getting the Series X first. Mm. In those numbers. Because it because that 12 let's call it 13%, is shifted somewhat. The fact that it's almost double just for the PS5. Well, actually, if the PS5, if the PS4's lead over the Xbox was only double, it would be way closer than it is. Mm -hmm. So assuming that sticks, that's actually giving me hope. Yeah? Yeah. If it's, if it's that close, at least in years, let's say the first two years, yeah. if, it's, if they only have a double lead, they'll give the funding to... The thing that, is, that, it's that's a, giving me hope. It's a snowball, though. I mean, we've seen in this generation, they started off bad, Microsoft. They had the Don Matrick days of just buy an Xbox 360. And you ha you have don't to buy this phones. Connect. Uh, don't you have a, and suits. It's like, suits. Uh, and also, TV is the only thing you want to use this console for, right? And then, even though they course-corrected and they got uh, Phil Spencer yeah. in there, which I think it seems like a it's genuinely a nice guy and whatnot. Better than, than, better than Don Matrick by a yeah. long shot. Um it snowballed and it kept going and Sony just happened to pull out a couple of bangers. If it even starts off at that point where, let's say, 5 million out of the gate go to PlayStation and then only 2 million go to uh, go to yeah, Xbox, yeah. then it starts to snowball and the gap gets wider and wider and wider because the more PS5s there are out there, the more people are going to talk to their friends about it and then they're yeah. going to buy it. And they'll see it. They'll be the hardware test and all that stuff. Exactly. If they can maintain that for... If they can keep it this close for two years, we'll be okay. Mm. But all of that rides on Halo. Yeah, all yeah, of that right. rides on Halo. You're right. And you're right. If I'm working at three four three, I'm, I'm sweating bullets. Shitting myself. I'm sweating bullets. That's my thought it right there. It doesn't ride on Halo. <sighs> Shit. Shit. It's so bad, right? We might be seeing the uh, Xbox Lockhart come out at this event. <clears throat> How do you feel about that? Well, do you think do you think Xbox is dead? <laughs> and I'm not even joking. It needs to be a flagship. You cannot. It's got to be flagship versus flagship, and you need your flagship title. You cannot come out with a console that is less powerful than your current flagship. It's a. You, it is shooting yourself in the head. It's the worst own goal of all time. Yeah. It's terrible. It's There's, not pro consumer in any way. I cannot say enough bad things about this move. It fucking sucks. There was only one thing that's happened recently that's yeah. made me feel. A hair better, but I've said it before. If you come out with, uh, if you don't come out with your best foot forward, then you're asking to be to fail, basically. Especially when you're going up against somebody who will put their best foot yes. forward. Apparently, the CPU might be the exact same CPU as it is in the Xbox Series X. That's the, a kick in the nuts. The only reason why that might be good is that then we get into almost the territory. We're not, but we're almost in the territory of. It's like a, a slowly uh, a turned down PC. So when you get a game for PC, if you just have a lower graphic, graphics card, then you still run the same game and it doesn't hold back gaming. Maybe. Doubt it. 
Exactly. We don't, don't know. It. I don't see it. And it still costs more time to develop for because it is a whole new machine. So also, developers are going to spend more time on that, which means that we suffer at the end of the day. So, all right. There's only that kind of ray of light, possibly. I don't see it. Mm-hmm. Because how are you going to feel knowing that you have all the hardware it's just turned down? Well, most of the hardware. You've got the same processor, but it won't do what its big brother will do yeah. because they didn't put enough you know, big enough fuel injectors if it's a car, right? There isn't yeah. enough RAM and, and GPU in there, but it could do it, Yeah. but they turned it down for you. And if it's that same processor, then it's still the same price, yeah. so it's not going to be as cheap. It just seems like no matter which way you cut it, it's a bad move. I hope they don't do it, but they're suits and they might, and I really hope they don't. And I want, I actually want this thing to come out and be as good as the Sony event, the mm. PlayStation event. Because one, it would be entertaining because we have to watch it anyway because we're dickheads. We, we, we're we're going to watch it. It's good to react and be on the point as well when it comes to gaming as well. And and I want to be entertained. There's no harm in it. It's gaming. It's a a genre and an entertainment franchise that we like and love. And I want them to do well enough so it would benefit us that it is good, but it would be cool for it to, for the next, like, who gives a fuck about articles from journalists, but if it was like, Xbox slaps back a yeah. thing, like, that would be good and at least it would change the discussion a bit. And then maybe it wouldn't all ride on Halo. Mm-hmm. So I hope it's a good event and I hope they don't do it because I think it's a huge mistake. One thing that might happen at this event. Oh, God, well, actually, sorry, more. there's more. Not might happen, but they've they've shown off. So this is what they actually said is actually yeah. going to be shown off at this twenty okay, third okay. of July event. They said that they're going to be showing off a ton of very early looks at a lot of games that they're working on in terms of first party. First party, yes, specifically. Yes, first okay, party one. cool. So I want to see it. I'm optimi- I want to see it. I'm optimistic about that. Yeah. However, great. However, yeah. they are going to be very very early looks. Okay. That means they're gonna be, and they said there's still a ways out. What do you do? What do you think that means? How many years? I wouldn't be surprised if that's two to three years. That's what I thought as yeah. well. Two to three years, two to three years out, and they, I think that still puts all of the pressure on Halo. There's still no games coming up for the next two to three years of this console. Depends how how do, you, how do you get invested in that? It depends how interesting they are. Like we have seen stuff. Like I mean, look. The, the Unreal 5 engine, Unreal Engine 5 reveal mm-hmm. had a thing in it that isn't even a game. It's and true. I wanted to play it, right? Yeah. I want it. I think they should, and I'm not joking, I think they should make it. So, it, there is the potential for some incredible stuff. And people go, look, yeah, it's kind of an investment because there are all these things coming. Could be done. They it really, like um that Kenner Bridge of Shadows. Bridge of Spirits. Bridge of Spirits. Yeah. I know it's close to ready and it seems much more refined. It's, that wasn't an early look. That was yeah. their teaser material. But that had me interested. Yeah. And it could be, you know, close into that level. But just look, I understand the stuff isn't ready for it. Right? Okay. As long as we're seeing some first party stuff. And do we believe they'll keep getting the funding? Because first party things get shut down all the time. Yeah. It does happen. But it's, you know, potentially... I hope they come out with something crossed. good and something that's a surprise. Yeah. I want them to do a, what a God of War did, basically, where they just yeah. go, walk out to the stage, what is this? Immediate gameplay demo. Yeah. This is coming out next year, early next year, I late think, next year. I think the like Horizon that. version of things they did at the Sony reveal was huge. Yeah. I don't think they'll have anything that refined the way they've said it. Fable. Fable. Okay. Dude, okay. Fable. Oh. Mate, Fables, are, suddenly it's not all riding on Halo. Yeah. Suddenly it's worth buying the console for the investment that another Fable's coming. And I genuinely mean that. And there are anyone that played Fables 1 and 2 will know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Right? So good. Actually worth it to know that that game's coming. Cool. And now it's not all riding on Halo. We'll have to see. I want it to be good. Don't get me wrong, it's fun to shit on Xbox. Mm-hmm. But there comes a point where it doesn't help us. Right, where it's no longer fun, it's just kicking and being a dead horse. Yeah. And I don't want to be a dead horse. I want this horse in the race. Yeah. So I hope those first party titles will be interesting. I hope they go, oh man, I, look, I don't think anything they show is taking me away from the PS5, mm-hmm. but I hope I look at it and go, do you know what? Maybe in a couple of years I'll have to pick one up cheap. I want something so it can light the fire yeah. under, under the rest of the gaming scene. You've and got Sony Series well. X. But you don't use it for gaming. I would like to, for me to go, I mean, you've got an, an Xbox, Xbox One, One S. Yeah. yeah. I would like to look and think, maybe I will pick up a Series X for cheap and get these games, you know, when I'm done playing God of War 2, 5, 7. This is the thing with the guys that, um, with 
people who watch us and whatnot, who are fans of the show and watching all the True Gamer podcasts, there's been a lot of them. So there's been know, a few. So there's been a, quite a few of them. Um, you guys may think straight away that like we're only Sony, we don't care about anything no. else, stuff like that. It is genuinely not true. This ge- I'm const- prior to this gen, the way that you speak about Halo, I'm always thinking about buying an Xbox to you play really Halo. Need to stream it, I, and it's on Game Pass right now. No, you so don't I need really to buy an Xbox. Xbox. No, I mean the next generation oh, okay, Xbox. Okay. And I'm always like I. You know, up, I am, I am not talking about those Halos. Halos one to three, get the Master Chief edition. That's what I'm pimping. You know me. Whenever I buy something, I'm stupid with my money. Yes, I have to buy the best version. If I wanted to buy an Xbox, it would be none other than the Xbox Series X. If I wanted to buy one, I bought that because I wanted a Blu-ray player. Yes. So if I, w- that's what I mean when I say like I'm always thinking yeah. about buying one. Yeah. I uh, I, so we aren't just Sony. We are kind of now, and I've had every PlayStation. Yeah. Last generation, when we were on the PS3, I was actually on the 360 and I played the PS3 because you guys won PS3. Mm-hmm. I pushed really hard for us to switch to Xbox. Okay. I believed in it. I thought it was the way to go. And then in the run-up, I changed teams. Yeah. Right? They just fricked us because they were suits. Mm-hmm. They under-delivered. Sony had so much more to offer. You gamers want that TV, don't you? You want that TV? Like, at the end of the day, I want to go where the gaming's best and where I'm best served as a gamer and a lot of that means first party titles <laughs> right and a good ui and stuff but mostly the games because I'm, I'm not living in the ui ui is good speaking but of I don't games live there. yes <laughs> speaking of games that seamlessly transition into our next topic okay so did you hear that uh wb games was uh doing selling... a superman game i wish i fucking wish a smallville game well, it's not gonna happen. that might actually be <clears> fun <throat> i'm not even joking that might actually be fun it would be especially or if you a could supernatural get the story. game a supernatural game would be quite fun let's not go too far um <laughs> um <laughs> wb games was selling the well wb was selling the games division of their of their ips and what was selling their games division okay so it's up for grabs there was ea looking Hachi. into it I can get uh, a personal loan. Exactly right. Couple, couple, couple bill, couple bill. Yeah, yeah probably like that. I think I can sort that out. Like, what have you really brought out recently? Like, come not on. a lot. Arkham oh, Asylum. We'll, we'll so, make, we'll make a Superman game. We'll make it worthwhile. Boys, we're starting to go fund me. Yeah, guys. The, shit, do you reckon we could? Now, everyone, if you want to help us buy WB Games, head over to the link in the description to our Patreon, patreoncom slash conversation How much? Subscribe at the sixty-nine dollars. What are they asking? I actually don't. I don't think the numbers out there. I don't think the numbers out there. But along with all those companies like EA and stuff that have expressed interest, Microsoft has expressed interest in buying the uh, the this if the company me, as well. If if we, James, Ethan, Tyler, George, all got and assuming everybody was there were no shared subs and everybody gave a fiver, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we could genuinely put in an offer. And I'm not joking. Look, as much as we joke about how like I'm not the PR stuff, we've run companies before, not big ones, but I've I've run a business before. You you're running a, this is a business. Yeah. My cousin, you know, I've run a business with my cousin for a little bit. We could plus, I mean, the company comes with staff. They know what they're doing, and we can learn on the job. It's like, okay, continue doing what you're doing, and let us shadow you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but there's always also there's handovers and stuff like it. You don't just, people don't just buy a company and walk in fresh, right? Like it's part of the service. Yeah, like the the, the you guys teach me previous, the ropes before you leave. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. The guy getting the payout still has to show you how the business runs, or it's not what you paid for. Exactly, boys. This is possible, guys. I mean, it's not going to happen, but in theory, on paper, we could put in an offer. I'm just What's saying. Doesn't have to Someone down. shoot a message into the Four Pillars Discord server. Nah, I'm thinking if it, let's say it's like three hundred thousand people giving five dollars, that's only like six million or something. It's not enough. Tell them to do us a discount. WB, come on, man. We're your boys. Look, we'll we got, actually make good games for once. We got Superman logos and Batman logos exactly. all over the gaff, bro. Ah, no, I got ahead of myself. I mean. Six million, they're never selling up six. No, 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 they're not. They're not. Shit. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I was like, oh yeah, we can do it. I well over, I well over hyped how many subs everybody there had. There was a moment where he was like, okay, I'm not, we're not going to do this, but shit, we might, we might be able to five, do this. For five, we, we can't, but like, if everybody wanted to give like 25, what's 300,000? If points? everyone gives us 25 grand. <laughs> oh, no. Nah, it's, it's not still enough. not enough, it's seven million. <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't do maths on camera, boys, because it's not good. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you all give us 25 grand, then maybe we can work this out. What was it? Over 300,000. Oh, sorry, I put a million there. Times by 25 grand. That would work. That, that would work. That would work. Everybody that would work. just get a mortgage. Everyone just give us 25 grand, okay? We'd need a thousand per person. <laughs> we would. Even that's we... 30 million, isn't it? Yeah, it would be a very low ball. No, but or if, we could raise, if we could raise, I think that's the If we could get 30 million funded, we could get a loan on that. Guys, do it. <laughs> anyway, back to the land of possibilities. <laughs> so Microsoft have expressed I'm still trying interest. to fund this thing, Sharp. Sharp, no, we're not doing this. <laughs> Microsoft. But it doesn't have to be just us. Here we go. <laughs> it don't, look, okay, look, hold on, hold on. It doesn't have to be just us, right? If we make the right promo material, hear me out. If we make the right promo material and we get all the boys from the community to start it off. I can do the first shopping like that. It can pick up enough steam that other people from outside the four pillars and us join onto it. This is like that. And we can reach out to other influencers and stuff and say, look, here's our promo pitch. Here's our experience. People people have got millions for comics and stuff from off their YouTube. I was going to say. I'm saying it, it, it's thin. But it could happen. This is like those people that set up a GoFundMe page to build an actual Death Star. How much did that get to? I think it got ridiculous. It got to like, yeah. I mean, GoFundMe Death Star. Boy, look, think, think about it, right? Let's assume, <laughs> let's assume only 25% of our combined audience is there. So call oh, it, call it no. let's say 75,000 people willing to give $5, right? As the initial thing, so what? Seventy-five thousand. Seven. Hold on. Seventy-five. No. no, no. <laughs> this is what the True Gamer podcast has devolved into. Times five. Okay. So the Kickstarter, assuming everybody was to, willing to do just five, seventy-five thousand people went to give five dollars off the bat, specifically for this, because I appreciate none of our patrons are at that. Yeah. That gets us to three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. That's enough for the Kickstarter to start getting its own thing. Then we can reach out to the other guys. We can reach out to these dudes and say, look, this is our thing. This is what we want to do. Will you, you know, will you help us get the word out there? And then it might be enough. It's it's possible. And then with a given, this is not the same one though. So this was the the project, I think, for the uh, hold on a minute for the plan. This make this makes my thing even better. <laughs> it was twenty million the goal, and we got to three hundred twenty eight thousand. But look, I said seventy five thousand people giving five. This is only two thousand four hundred people, and they got to three hundred and thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, right? yours is realistic, mate. <laughs> Mine's even closer. But my point, my point is. It could bring in other people. We could get to things. And then with that thing, we can take that to to a bank and say, look, there's a business or to a fu- some way and get funding. We could do it. A bunch of people want this. It's possible. We go to the Bank of England. <laughs> no, but like, think about it. All we have to say is, look, we've bought this thing. We need the loan. But collateral is we continue to make the next Arkham game. That will pay off. That would pay off. And we set a small team starting the Superman thing. It's fucking doable. It's thin. It's thin, but it's doable. We'd have to hit everything perfect, right? This is like those, um, this is a Beat Saber that's perfect, right? This is one of those uh, games where you have to hit to play the dubstep or whatever. Everything has to be perfect. But it, this I fucking could be done. It wouldn't. It wouldn't in real life. Someone, but it could. Someone's could. taking this video right here and they're photoshopping... You, what's that guy from... I think it's The Office and one other one where he's like, okay, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. And he's got all the shit on the wall and whatnot. And it's like a conspiracy theory thing. They're going to Photoshop that into the background. That's how you're going to look. They had... Photoshop me out of it when you do it, okay? ...thousand people divided by, call it 3,000, right? $108 each. I reckon we can find two people though. 2,000 people between all of us that are willing to drop a, a hundo. To get there, to get the attention. I'm not fucking joking. It's doable. It's doable to get a bid. And then on top of that, we have to go up against Microsoft and EA. Fuck, but but everybody feels underserved by both those dickheads. We haven't microtransactioned anyone. DC are going to be like, do you know what? These Fuck these big corporations. Fuck them. Let's go for these little guys over here. They're the ones that, that want it. it to be fair, they're selling universe. it. They're not, they're not licensing it. Man. Exactly. There's a universe where we get enough to at least get a bid. 
There is a universe. Boys. I'll agree to that. There is a universe. Yeah, but it's closer to a universe than when you're fucking Superman, right? <laughs> So, oh, that's fucking hard. Or you where son anyone of a bitch. else gets it and makes the Superman game. This is the only timeline where that Superman game gets made. <laughs> and we have a shot. Do you know what? It's you, not a good shot, but it's there. You didn't have me on board, but you have me now. Come on, let's do this. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's thin. But a little bit of me wants to try. Guys, in the comment section, I want you to let us know how thin of an opportunity that is. All right, guys. We need we need three thousand people willing to give a hundred dollars. I don't think that's unreasonable. <laughs> before we hit like the open market, where suddenly other people see and go, actually, yeah, fuck it. Why not give these guys? Look, ah. pe people voted in Donald Trump. Fuck it. We've had the other way. Let's try a different way. Solid We're, point. <laughs> that's our marketing with a Donald Trump of gaming. <laughs> Maybe we don't go say that. Way. Yeah, let's not strike that from the record. Edit, edit that out. <laughs> With the Kanye West of getting no wait. That's, that's right. No, no, no. no I'll let's take not it. Do that. I'll take it. Dude's a freaking billionaire. I'll take that's that. True. Hey, Kanye. <laughs> we know you couldn't make president, but how about a video game? How about it? Go on the final frontier. We'll we'll do we'll do a DLC, a microtransaction. Where instead of Clark Kent, you play as Kanye West as oh, Superman. God, that, that, I'm sorry, that's my creative vision you're fucking with. I ain't gonna fuck about you. Do it in a Batman game happen. where no one cares. Hey, you don't even think this timeline exists. This is my timeline. <laughs> We're making it Kanye man. Oh, boy. Okay, okay so as I was saying... Yeah, um, let's get back to... Xbox, uh, PlayStation, uh, Microsoft, the fucking I said all of them. Microsoft is expressed interest in buying the W Games division of WB, so... Mm -hmm. It hasn't said in this whether or not they include all the IPs and stuff like that. Although, if Microsoft was interested... Surely then, Disney buys it. That's another good... Well, if they have Marvel, I don't think they could have DC as well. Why then. not? I don't think these. I don't think WB would allow it. Why? Well, it's WB selling a part of their own brand to Disney. Don't get me wrong, it's a business at the end of the day, so money is money. But they could intentionally tank their, their brand, and they wouldn't do that, obviously. I suppose it's that. Um, but anyway... If Microsoft is interested, you have to assume that they're going to be like, okay, we'll buy the thing, but you have to include Batman, you have to include Harry Potter, you have to include all of these yeah, things yeah, yeah. so we can make all of them. They're not just going to take WB Games as that. Bro, if, the ha if they come out and say they got Halo, Fable, and Harry Potter RPG, Microsoft, you know, Xbox exclusive... Suddenly they're back in the running. That could be not quite enough. Good to, not enough to make me go over it. And I do. Yeah. I am kind of a fan of Harry Potter. I do like that. I'm a fan of Halo and Fable. It's not enough to make me not get the PS5. But that would be enough to tempt me into getting an Xbox Series X. Why do I say the whole thing every time? You have to say the whole thing. That would to. be enough to tempt me to get the Series X later down the road also, on a what's Black the, Friday sale or something. What's the name of the uh, the, the digital only edition? You have to say the whole name of that as well. Okay. Xbox Series Xbox One X uh, Series S. Sad super all digital, digital. <laughs> extra lonely. It's almost like they shouldn't have named it X S X S X S X. <laughs> The name is Garbo, but I think that's interesting, and it, we could be in a world where Microsoft buys WB, and then we get DC cool. games all on there. Um, yeah, it could be quite that interesting. Be cool. be quite interesting. So there is two more rumors. This is from PlayStation. Okay. So there was a price list that went up for Miles Morales' uh, DLC, well, standalone game that came okay. out, but it was also on the same price list as the PlayStation Five and all of its accessories. Okay. The price of the game we know already is going to be $40. And $40? On, $40, okay, yeah. Okay. It's only a standalone game, so it's going to be a shorter okay, experience, okay. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. still going to be something. Right? Sure. And that was on this list, and it was accurate. Okay. And it's to has, it has all the other accessories as well as the PlayStation on this list. Okay. It has the prices for the PlayStations on here. Let me hear it. $499 okay. for the Blu-ray version of the PlayStation 5. Yeah. And three nine nine for the discless version of the PlayStation Five. Nah, I don't see it. That would be amazing. I mean, look, fuck! I got my hopes up about owning WB. In it, fucking hell! Ten seconds ago, this guy was like, "Bruv, we could do it. We, all of us, we could get money together." Come I on, I said we could get enough put, money. Put it to in my get cup. Bid. Put it in my cup. Put some, put some change in my cup, and we can get WB. <laughs> We ha I said we had a shot at getting enough for a bit. But this, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy now, easy now. The Blu-ray is not worth 100. That's the thing that's got, got me. What we were saying before, though, and this was in between uh, True Gamer Podcast, so I think it's worth saying it now okay. for people who don't follow yeah, everything yeah. else. Um, 499 I think that's... 
okay of a price for well, the Blu-ray version. Yeah. 549 possibly. 549 would hurt. Yeah, but it's in the realms of possibility of what it could be, yeah. right? Like realistically. We said maybe fifty dollars less for the for the Blu-ray drive coming out, and that's realistic. But something we didn't think about at the time. PlayStation, if they sell those discless versions, everybody who buys one of those will have to buy all of their games through PlayStation. They will get an extra cut off of every single game because it's going through PlayStation, as well as all the back-end microtransactions and stuff like that. So maybe that extra $50 is good. Well, that's going to be made up with like two, three games that they sell through their own system. That's a good point. Except that my current beef with digital only is that you're paying the full console price instead of PC pricing. They're getting a little better with sales. Not much. I've seen some sales and sometimes games are interesting, but they're always games that you probably already played or probably already own. Yeah. But stuff like first party games like the God of Wars and Spider-Mans and stuff like that, they come down not as much as you would get in the second hand shops yeah. where you get the disc version, granted. But they do come down. Now, if there are more people on the digital side and more people are funding these, then it will gr- it will sort of like have a a, a feedback effect and whatnot, where yeah. like then suddenly games get lower and stuff oh, like shit. that. That in pounds, <clears throat> it's four four nine. Yeah, I was expecting four nine nine pounds. Yeah, so that's in dollars. What I was saying before, and apparently, according to this, the UK price four four nine and three four nine. That's the price Oof. of the PlayStation Four when it came out. And they've proved that that model is a is a price that people are willing to pay yeah. and sell over a hundred million consoles. Four four nine is better than I was expecting. Do you think we'll see a price for the Xbox Series X at this event? We fucking better. What else? What else can they give us to make well, anyone talk about? It? The problem is they know as soon as they release it, Sony's already got their thing made. It goes up the next day on Twitter, and no one's talking about Xbox. There is this virtual chicken that they're playing at the moment, where they're like, "I won't do it until you do it. You won't do it until I do it." But we're getting so close. I mean, I think. Could you reckon they could stretch it to August? I'm just trying to see. No, they can't. Do we have a VR VR two? No, they haven't got VR two on it. This is all the stuff that's been announced okay. and is actually coming out on like the twentieth of November. Four, four, no, also, this... release date apparently twentieth of November. That's what they're saying Ooh. right here. Well, that's enough time for them to change the branding on the boxes to Cyberpunk. Yeah. No, they would because they have to agree that with yeah with. CD Projekt Red. And also they've got the marketing deal with Xbox as well, so it's unlikely that would happen, but it could happen, you know. So this is pounds. 449 down to 349 for the sad digital only. Mate, 449's a, a pop. That would, that's way better than I was expecting. Easily within my arms. 349? How many games a year do I buy? And then we can't share games either. Which is there is that game sharing feature that you can do where you share accounts, but it is very finicky and it's an extra hurdle and stuff like that. So it deters a lot of people. I know a lot of people do it. Yeah. And we have friends that do it and stuff yeah. like that. And it was a part of me that was like, maybe we, we should do it. Maybe because kind of a ball like so. It is. It does get around the fact that like for like the last of us and whatnot, if I, I could be playing it one, one night and then you play it in the day or we switch vice versa and then it wouldn't be Except wait two weeks for me to save it and then you do another two weeks. What happens when, <clears throat> and I actually want to record a, an apology to you okay, to go back into the spoiler cast, but what happens when you want to get the Ellie edition and I don't? That's the bad thing. That's right. the bad thing. Right I guess there. maybe you save 25 quid on the early edition. <laughs> yes. Right? I just shoot 25 quid and, and you got 25 quid off. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, the 349 is suddenly starting to get tempting. I'm trying to think, how many games am I likely to want to buy, right? Minimum one or two a year. The main thing with this pricing, though, is that with Xbox, oh, when the they... storage. Oof. Yeah, that's another thing. Oof. With Xbox, when they announce their editions, they've got the Xbox Series X, the flagship, the big one. Probably going to be expensive, what we think, maybe around the 449, uh, sorry, 499 area in dollars and whatnot. Maybe more, we don't know. Maybe they can take a hit. Yeah, yeah. And then they have the Lockhart version, which is cheaper, but it's less of a machine. But dude, imagine if the Lockhart has to go up against the digital only... And that's the thing. This one is the same machine, only the disk drive isn't there. So you're still getting the full experience. If Lockhart wasn't already dead enough, kill shot. Yeah. That is the gun turned sideways. Exactly. 
This is a rumour, just so everyone knows, just so we're... we're I don't want to get my hopes up. I've already got my hopes up. <laughs> I still think we've got a shot for buying WB. But, no, honestly, those prices... Fuck, man. They could be right. And you're right about the digital edition. We didn't think about the back end that mm-hmm. they would get for all the games. Solid maybe. Definitely maybe. Definitely maybe. All right, guys. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and there's only one other thing that I was going to say. And where was it? Okay. Um, Dan, this is a short thing. Dan sent me a link to a, a, an article saying that PlayStation had removed all of their advertisements for the PlayStation 5 on Facebook and Instagram. And when I heard that, I was like, oh, Jesus. Are they delaying the console? They don't need it. They don't need the ad spend. Well, that's one thing, but it, it, apparently they did. But anyway, let me just finish what I was going to say. Sorry, I was yeah, like, it was just the first thought. Oh, Jesus. I was like, are they are they delaying the event? Are we are we going to fucking get a delay for this thing? They were speaking so confident. That could be very bad for PlayStation. Turns out there was just it was just a PR move because apparently there's something bad going on on oh, Facebook. Okay. And they were like, we don't want to seem insensitive, so we're going to remove this. I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. My heart. <laughs> I couldn't take it. <laughs> what, for Xbox? Well, no, for, I could Or for Xbox or for Microsoft. So who did you uh, say... PlayStation. PlayStation put yeah. the ads. So I was like, woo! <laughs> I bet this is going to turn out to be another E3 thing. Yeah. I bet they're going to notice that they don't have any less traffic. And the fact that they were spending however many hundreds of thousands on ads, mm-hmm. they don't need that expense. Yeah. I, I agree. Like, I really think they have so much attention right now, they don't need to spend any money. And I'm not even joking. Mm-hmm. And I put up one more thing. This is just a, a PlayStation 5 pattern. It's not, we don't know if it's real and whatnot, and it's all in Japanese, so I can't translate it. And it's an image, so it doesn't translate it properly. And it looks like it's a PS1, PS2, PS3. Exactly. So somebody apparently has translated this and saying that this is emulation on a PlayStation 5 for backwards compatibility. Mm, I for do yawn as I was going, Ooh, oh. I noticed that. I was like, you look happy, but then you started yawning. Um, <clears throat> PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 3 on the PS5. The PS3 would be... That's the tough one. <clears throat> Everything else is not kind of like normal coding, right? It's just a yeah. tiny little thing. It's almost nothing. PS3 was a ball ache. Cool, but I don't know that I care enough. That's what Personally. I think about this. Yeah, go on, go on. Because I'm in the same boat as you here. I, I don't feel like I... Don't get me wrong. Great for the people who want to play an old game. And there are old games out there that I would love to play. Yeah. But... Like, don't get me wrong. A while ago, I started Final Fantasy IX again. And just for some reason, stopped playing it. But that was cool. And I absolutely love that game. But there aren't many PlayStation 1 games I want to continue. Yeah. And also, if it's an emulator, then I guess it doesn't read the discs, right? You have to digitally download it. The way that this is going to work is that... Essentially, you are still buying the games, and yep. you have to buy them from their cloud service. Yep. But then it just gets downloaded onto it's the system, only. and then you you play it that Through way. Do the emulator, yeah. So, so that's the so, way it's going to work. So again, <clears throat> you can't use your old discs, which is one of the things that a lot of people that talk about backwards compatible. What they mean is they can pull out their original Final Fantasy Nine with the in. four discs and insert disc one, yeah. right? Um, which I did. In, I did kind of like that from uh, the Last of Us, yeah, because it was very nostalgic. Multiple discs. So, that takes that away. All your old games that you kept, no longer like useful unless you're putting them in the old console. Mm-hmm. And so I don't know how much I... But also, I don't know how much I care. I don't know how much I actually want to play a PS3 game. What games were on PS3 that I loved? There are some decent ones, like the old GTA games and stuff like that. Like, I'd like yeah, to play GTA 5. again. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> GTA 5, I'd like to play that again. You know, I don't play that. <laughs> Oh, boy. So, you know, I, <clears throat> I don't know how much... I mean, also, I think the guys that are into those old games, I think the more of them are into retro gaming than they are backwards compatible mm-hmm. gaming. So those guys want to play on the old CRTV TVs yeah. and they want to play on their N64. They want to blow out the, the cartridges yeah. and stuff, right? So And plus it's part of the collection. We're, one of our friends is huge into collecting the old gaming stuff. Right? Massive. But, dude, the fact... This guy spent three hundred pounds knowingly on a game case. The game wasn't in it. It was just the outside box because he had the game but not the sleeve. He's like, I got the game, but I don't have the outside cardboard box bit, and this one's in good conditions. It's only mashed up on one side. It's like three hundred pounds. But that's what I thought. I was bad buying a chair. (laughs) Exactly. It's the fact that he bought the same chair three times. That's the problem. Okay, that is the... Okay, right. But he doesn't want to play that on his PS5. No. He wants to own the old thing. And if he's going to play, he wants the CRTV, mm-hmm. plug it in. That's what he wants. Yeah. 
And that's why I think a lot of those people that like the retro games, also a lot of people that go, oh, I love this game, and go back and play GoldenEye in those, one of those cafes and it really underperforms. Actually, it's not just GoldenEye because it didn't look as good as we remembered, but also you're so used to holding control differently. It's not the- And then you're like, okay, move to the, wait a minute, how do I do this again? <laughs> right. So, you know, things are different. Yeah. So, just saying. I'm not as excited for backwards compatibility. Let me know, guys, in the comment section if you are and what it is specifically that you're looking for. I know some of you are. And also, is it that big of a deal for you? Because, like, the PlayStation, as of right now, no plans for backwards compatibility other than PlayStation 4. This is a pattern leak we don't know. Let's say I get three options for the PlayStation. Digital only, 349. Uh, regular, yeah. three, 449. Mm. And backwards compatible with the, the emulators and stuff, 499. I don't think they shift many of those 499s. No. If it costs me more money, don't see anyone doing it. I don't see me taking it because those games are going to take up hard drive space and I want to play next gen games. Fucking the like, hard drives are going to be small enough anyway. 800 gigs, man. Yeah. So, interesting, cool. I think it services like half a percent of the gaming world. I mean, good for those guys mm -hmm. if it comes out. But they patented so much stuff that we've covered that never came out. So. Yeah. Not a big deal for me, personally. Yeah, neither for me, neither for me. Cool. It's glad they can do it. I think that's perfect for, like, cloud processing. Frick the internal emulator. Run that shit through, like, a Stadia. To Stadia. <laughs> uh, 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 run, run it through a freaking server or something. That's the know? thing. I'm okay with the Gaikai technology that they've got the uh, the PlayStation now. Just run yeah. everything through there. Anyway, um, let's move over to some comments, bros, if from our bros over on the Discord server, which you guys can be a part of by clicking the link in the description. Greatest place in the world to be. You it's genuinely, a, like, I know it's ours, <clears throat> but it's one of the coolest places that, to hang out. You know whenever Discord goes down, I'm lost. Yeah, I'm like, like, what do I, what? And I'm a YouTuber. I, I spend a lot of time on YouTube, but... If YouTube goes down, it's not the end of the world for me. Yeah. You know? Exactly, I've got something else. All right, let's kick it over to our first guy. It's a DC fanboy, Rohit. He says, what do you think of the Valhalla, of Valhalla after the leaked footage? Did you see much of this? I saw like a three-second clip. I was <laughs> unimpressed. But I also don't care about Valhalla that much. It'll be cool. It seems interesting, I guess. See, I was interested in it a lot more because I'm currently playing, well, I was currently playing, the AC2 yeah. games and whatnot. And a lot of guys have been talking to me and I've seen James's reaction. I've been talking with Tyler and stuff yeah. like that. And I was getting more and more excited for it. This leaked footage did look very rough. It looked yeah. very rough. Now, it is before release. We don't know when this was recorded even. But there was one that I or clicked they out. were testing. This could have been a version of the game. They just did not need the full thing. They only had to test like a couple of animations or, or a certain mechanic. Mm -hmm. And they ran it on a small... Like, I don't know how this shit works. But it could well be the case that all they were testing was combat. Yeah. And they just had an earlier build that just didn't need to eat up all that space with all the graphics and stuff. Does it work? Yeah, cool. Put that code here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess. And I, and I was like, <clears throat> I don't know when this is going to be, but at least I'm going to judge it for what it is right now. Yeah. And I put out a tweet of a video of, it was like a, a battering ram that hit a, a gate. Yeah. And this gate went from two states. It was fully built to crumbled immediately. Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah, two yeah, frames. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, wow, that's janky. And there was also one where people were walking through flames, but they weren't on fire. Yeah, I, I um, did see that. Terrible stuff, which, by the way, just today, I got a, a message from Twitter saying that uh, Ubisoft strict, uh, pulled that down via, because of DMCA copyright laws. Great. Yay. Great guys, great guys over there, because I've yep. shown video of your failed mess. <laughs> gotta, love, gotta love the DMCA stuff. Yeah. I just <clears throat> think, like... Do you remember back in the day when Levolution was a thing and like the destructible environments and it was so amazing? Yeah, That's just kind of like a, a standard if you're allowed to do it. It's supposed to be interactive. But before that, it was like, this thing gets destroyed and it had the working, destroyed state. Yeah. There was no in between. It did feel, I did see that gate. Yeah. It reminds me of, uh, do you remember Call of Duty? Is it Ghosts? Yeah, I where didn't it was, play it, but yeah. When we, the maps are like, the maps are completely dynamic. If you shoot these logs, it will fall over. But it was the same log animation falling over every time it didn't landed. Didn't matter if it was a grenade or an RPG or a so nine millimeter bad. pistol. It would One always go. Yeah, yeah. 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 It reminds me of that. Um, Ghosts was such a great game. I am looking for, oh, Riley the dog. Um, I it was Riley the name of the dog in thing was, as well. Yeah. I think it was the same in Ghosts. Fucking hell, they stole the name. Um, 
I will say I am looking forward to Ubisoft Ford, which is a uh, Sunday this week and whatnot, okay. which might be a live thing. I know the guys over in the Four Pillars are doing it, and they're very much the Ubisoft yeah. guys. I'd like to do it as well because we said we would do all yes. this stuff. We'll see how that goes, and hopefully they've got something better to do. Ethan has been playing via remote access with Ubisoft. He's been playing Valhalla Sick. and Legion. Sick. Great get for that guy, if I can go to say that. But yeah. Um, Diogo sends in the next question. He says, guess my question would be if Eddie has played Iron Man VR yet and what he thinks of it. Do you want to hear something really shit? So do you remember The Last of Us got delayed for me and it kept, usually I get early. Yeah. And I got it this time on the day. And that's because the, the people that I buy it from, they always r ship it way early and... Yeah. Roll mail delivery is usually the next day or the day after. With this, it really it got shipped on the first. Guess when I got it? The fifth. As of recording, it's the ninth. I got it on the eighth. Oh, that was seven days after it got after wow. it got shipped. Is this from the same place that you normally get. From the same place, but I think it's more Royal Mail fucking up. Maybe. Royal Mail's always been shit anyway, and they always have their fucking time. Frick those but guys. I'm like. God damn it. And I, I, I haven't had a, t had a chance to play it. And I'm really looking forward to this you game. played at EGX and it looked like I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. And also, I'm not going to get to play it probably until Monday now because I've got to edit this. I've got to edit the uh, the spoiler cast that we're doing. We need to watch Samurai Champloo. We need to watch Samurai Champloo. That's going to take up a ton of time. And we're going to be talking with you guys in the Discord server yes. when it comes to the, these uh, and the live chats and stuff. Fucking hell, man. It really fucks with that your sucks. day when that happens. It that really sucks. fucks with you. Anyway, so I haven't played it just yet, but I did play the demo, which you guys probably saw on the birthday stream and what yep, that was on yep. my crossbar. And that was good fun. I'll let you guys know soon about oh, it. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it. It looked yeah. like you had a lot of fun. Um, the next question. Do you want to read the next question? Because I've read in the morning yeah. and whatnot. Jake, who suddenly now is for Marquee Movie Club. We're not <laughs> doing it. Don't even freaking at me. <laughs> Do you guys think that Xbox will announce Fable 4 any console sellers other than Halo Xbox Games Showcase as Phil Spencer is still confident about Xbox Series X after the PS5 reveal? Phil Spencer's job is to be confident about the Series X. It doesn't matter. Like He's still going to get paid. Um, he knows how to put out a lot of buzzwords and it does get to everybody. And I don't like as well how journalists are latching onto a lot of this stuff and they, they turn it into something more yep. than it is. Yep. It is just words at this point. Yep. Until it comes out, don't be fooled by what anybody says. Even if it's PlayStation, until they come out and do something, don't say I agree. anything. I agree. Or don't like buy into yeah. it. Yeah. Certainly yeah. don't give them any money. Yeah. I think Fable 4 would be an incredible title for them to show. Suddenly it's not everything resting on Halo's yeah. shoulders. Yeah. So I think that it would be a great move. Will they do it? Pfft, fuck, who knows? There's Probably not because they're run by so suits. Yeah. yeah, but that's the thing. There have been rumours for so long, so it's hard to tell whenever... You know, It that's would like be a every, great move. It would be a good idea to do it. Every event I hear, oh, Fable's coming, Fable's coming. I know. Guys, Fable's coming, get ready for... Fable's coming, lads. Fable, everyone except Fable. Have you ever played Fable? I haven't played it in Fable. It's really good. I've, looked, I've seen it and it looks good. Yeah. But never played it. And I would be... I'd be open to it. At least it would be some sort of variety. It would be MasterChef, Love that. Love the the look of Master Chef. I love yeah. the idea of Master Chef. Yeah. Everything you say as well, fantastic. It's basically Doom, but in with aliens. And then Fable, something a little bit different. Yeah, I would very much yeah. like to see that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to read the next one. It's D, uh, again, Marky for Movie Club. <laughs> so I do not know if you two have heard, but WB Games are on sale and a few potential buyers are stepping out. We are actually uh, one of those potential buyers. We are, exactly. Um, how do you guys feel about seeing Microsoft, if Microsoft buys them, they buy them, they will have a lot of IPs at their disposal. Most importantly, Batman, PlayStation has Spider-Man, and now Xbox will have Batman, will maybe have Batman. How do you feel about this? It would be interesting to put them both together, but we did speak about it. It right would be before. cool. I will say I don't see Microsoft buying WB and then making Batman first party. Mm. Not because they wouldn't do it, but because I think they're going to look at the numbers and see how, many, how much money that game makes in total, and then what's the proportion mm. and are they gonna do like if it's only on xbox but then they'll know how many xboxes they have so that's why i suspect they probably wouldn't i don't not that they wouldn't do it because they're suits and they would absolutely fuck us over but because they think if the game's already in development or they're gonna develop it because it's one of the ips they're associated with and they have the rights to you're cutting your freaking face off like not forget your nose yeah the whole thing 
to just make it Xbox only because you won't have that many people on it. Yeah. Personally, that's my thing. But I think they would do it if they had the numbers and they don't have the numbers. That's my... It would suck for us gamers as well because it's a franchise that is has always been third party. Everyone's in, been able to enjoy it. And then suddenly you take that away from yeah. from everyone else. Is, it is third party, right? And I think with it with Batman, Fable, and Halo, there actually is probably a reason for people to go to Xbox where there wasn't before. Mm. But I just don't know if it's going to be the way. Yeah, yeah. We'll see how that shakes out. I guess on the twenty third of July. The next question is from hashtag Marquee Movie Club again, but in brackets, Edina Simp. And have you seen the photo here as well? It's Oh wow! It's my stepsister with a heart. It is. Oh, do you know what? Oh, so it's red hair because I thought that was a uh, the assassin's hood. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. No, apparently I've got. Uh, well, sorry, my stepsister. Sorry, my stepsister a has red hair. red uh, red hair right, exactly cool. right there. And apparently everyone says that she looks like Alana Pierce. Um, I mean, that's for you guys to decide. It's definitely <laughs> better than some of the other ways you've described that face app of what you look like. <laughs> Okay, um, it says, do you think Microsoft will announce their price at the Xbox Series X event? So, by the way, some of these questions I did look at before and I was like, let me work them into the show. So this was a good one. So, um, at the event, if so, how long do you think it will take Sony to announce theirs? I think Sony give it two days because they, they want to steal the attention, but not to, but they don't want to be caught up in the discussion. Mm. Right, so I reckon they give it minimum 24 hours, maximum 48 to 72 so two maximum two to three days and then they come out right um because the discussion will almost naturally will shift to what is the sony one yeah so I, so i think they should i think they should because no one really cares yeah about xbox it gives it, at least they're gonna take it and we know no matter when they do it that the limelight's getting stolen by mike by sony right no matter what if they go first and Xbox tries to get it, they'll it'll be like the controller. They mm -hmm. won't get the attention. Um, <clears throat> if Xbox go first, we know Sony's stealing it afterwards. So just get it out there while you have everybody's attention, while you've got a big yeah. event. Don't just stick it out on Twitter. Be like, and we're doing this and we're so pro-consumer, here's the price. What they'll do is they'll do the E3 thing in it where it's like, E3 event, we're going to show off all these games. We're not going to show off the console though. Right, no, exactly. Gonna... And then to, a, a month later, we'll show off the console. It's like, right. you had everyone's attention. Exactly. The best move they can do because they now have the attention. Make it a great show and tell us the price. That's the best they can do. Mm -hmm. They they don't get another a second best chance. So our boy Corona kills over here. He put writes in one. Corona thing. killer. Corona killer. My apologies, Corona killer. Uh, he goes. I've heard the rumor that Sony is going to release their prices on the thirteenth of July. He hasn't given a link or anything to where he's got that from. But we're going to take that as truth. Take it to the bank, guys. That's, That's it. Let's make right a video. There. Sony announces they're going to do the thing. Our guy on Discord <laughs> sent us a, a message randomly. <laughs> I don't... Here's the thing. I don't really care when it is. Right? We're going to find out. It's got to be within a certain price window. Because if it's not, I'm not buying it. Yeah. And so there's only so much disappointment. And the max amount is I don't get it. And the, the right amount is... Well, it's expensive, but it's in my window. right? Yeah. There is no other in between. So the only real thing here is... When does does Microsoft make the best of the situation they have? Because they're mm -hmm. kind of related uh, questions. If they don't announce it, they are definitely fucking suck in this generation. Yeah. Um, if Sony come out first, then they take all the wind out of the sales. There is no ex even if it's a hundred dollars cheaper. I, I really feel like there's not much discussion to be had. Yeah. So there's that, and I don't see because the next question is always, cheaper. but what do I play? Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And again, like we said, you know, we said uh, games we think are a fairly good value. Mm -hmm. I will pay an extra hundred dollars up front to get games like The Last of Us, um, fuck a lot of next God of War, God of game, War, Spider -Man. Uncharted, Spider Man. You know, games like that. Yeah, of that caliber. Yeah, it's kind of an investment in actual games in first yeah. party titles. So, yeah. you know, that's there where we, we are. I think. Um, yeah, that's everything we got to talk that's about it. on the True Gamer podcast. One final thing to mention just before we get going. Right. Um, you guys saw on the uh, birth, half birthday event thing yeah. that we did that we tried to do the solo movie club. Yep. I've tried every single way to get it done without getting copyright striked. It's not working out. Yep. We may have to revise the whole thing, but the whole thing is bloody edited and I want you guys to see it. So we've uploaded it to Vimeo and you can watch it right now. I'm going to put the link in the description for yep. you guys. So go check it out. Watch it. Um, it's also going to be up on Discord so you guys can enjoy it's it. A and pity you get because to see that. It's a pity because 
doing it live on the stream or premiering it allows us to talk to people as we're doing it. And we, so we can't do that. So it'll be like you, you missed it live and have to watch it. Yeah. But it was really good fun and it looked like it turned out really good and people seem to really enjoy it. So we're going to do our best to figure out a way to continue on that way. Mm-hmm. Um, they also ended up being shorter that way, which was good because keeping you guys for, depending on the length of the movie, two to three hours. But hey, let's watch The Irishman. Three and a half hours? Fuck it. Then the movie club goes for five hours. Let's do Lord Done. of the Rings. It's only two days per movie. There you go. That's all we need to do right, right there. Anyway, go watch that, guys. Enjoy it because I worked very hard on it. You did. And, uh, and it uh, turned out great. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, we'll see you true gamers in the next we'll one. See you in the next one.